Hello friends and welcome to Digimento. Today we will be discussing a very very important current affair that is the biological control ban owls in Lakshadweep. So we will see how uh, in Lakshadweep the biological control. So biological control means that how using this ban owls. So using this ban owls how in Lakshadweep um, a biological control of uh, rats which were actually destroying the coconut crops in uh, Lakshadweep, how this uh, uh, ban owls are used to destroy these uh, rats. So, this is called the biological control. So, we will be discussing this uh, in this lecture in detail. So, let's uh, start. But before that, this is our channel UGC NTNH Computer Science and if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe. So, please do subscribe and also Press the bell icon for receiving the notification. So, for receiving the notifications, please do press the bell icon. And we are also providing online classes for GATE, NTA, UGC Net and PGT Computer Science. You can avail our online courses. So, uh, you can avail our online courses. For more details, you can visit our website www.digimentor.com. So, this is our website. Or you can also... Call us in this number for getting the details of the online classes that we provide. So, I think we will start the lecture now. Now, uh, let's first come to the current affair that is <coughs> Lakshadweep. So, we know that Lakshadweep is an island economy. So, an island economy basically means that a place which is uh, surrounded by ocean or water bodies in its three uh, sides. So, basically... Lakshadweep is an island economy which means it is surrounded by water. So, which is surrounded by water in all its sides. So, all its three sides are surrounded by water. So, Lakshadweep which is an island economy has recruited three pairs of ban owls from Kerala. Now, Kerala is a southern state. So, southern state and it is also the immediate neighbor of Lakshadweep. So, southern state and it is an immediate neighbor of Lakshadweep. So, from Kerala, they have recruited three pairs of ban owls and the reason is to hunt down the rats. So, reason is to hunt the rat population. Now, why? The reason is that the rats are responsible for deteriorating the coconut yield in Lakshadweep. So, coconut is a major crop in Lakshadweep. It's an island economy. Also, it is a coastal area. Now, if we look into some of the coastal states in uh, India, we will see that these coastal states have a uh, plenty of coconut crops. So, for example, Kerala. It's the name Kerala itself is derived from the term Kera, which means coconut. Then uh, the coastal economies of Tamil Nadu. Then we have Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh. So, all these coastal economies, we will see that coconut is one of the major crops cultivated there. So, similarly, as we said, Lakshadweep is also a coastal economy. So, Lakshadweep is also a coastal economy and that is what we have seen in Lakshadweep as well. <coughs> we will see that there are a lot number of coconut uh, trees or coconut cultivation. So, these rats, they were responsible for deteriorating the coconut yield. Now, about 30 to 40 percentage of the yield loss was seen due to the presence of these rats. Now, as we said, coconut is an important money spinner for the island economy in Lakshadweep. Uh, so, this is one of the major crops. So, one of the major sources of revenue for the cultivators there. So, uh, the rats were creating some problem. Again, coconut, uh, then why they have gone for this biocontrol measure? Now, biocontrol means by the use of rats. So, these rats are a biocontrol measure. There were other options also. The other options like they could have used certain pesticides or like uh, they could have gone for some chemicals. But why did they go for uh, biological control of these rats because the uh, as the islands are designated as an organic zone. So, islands are designated as organic zone. This is an important point. So, being an organic zone, so being in the organic zone, uh, they have adopted the biocontrol measures. 
Now in Lakshadweep Islands, rats live only in the tree tops. Now this is another reason. So in the Lakshadweep Island, the rats they live only on the tree tops, which means on the top of the tree. So top of the tree. Then the friends of coconut tree overlaps and that allows the rodent. Rodent rat is a rodent. Rodents to move easily from one tree to another. So the friends of the coconut tree they overlap and uh, from one tree to another they can easily travel. So these rat population the rodents can move easily from one tree to another. Thus the rat hunters like the cats or the rat snake are not employed. So that is why uh, the cat or the uh, rat snake why they are not employed is because they basically live on the top of the tree and also uh, they travel from one tree to another they move easily. So it's not very easy uh, for the cat or the rat snakes to catch these uh, rats. Now let's see what is biocontrol. Now the concept of biocontrol. Biocontrol means the control of growth of an insect or a pest using a biological agent. So here uh, the growth of a particular insect or a pest is controlled by using a biological agent. Now in our example the growth of rat is being controlled. So the rat population is being controlled and here in our example our biological agent is the owl. So owl is the biological agent whereas the rat population is being controlled. Now let's come to list of biological control agents. We have insect predators like the spiders, flies, ladybugs, wasp, beetles, dragonflies. These are all examples of insect predators. That means they uh, kill the in uh, sorry insects. Sorry. Okay, insect predators. Then we have pathogenic microorganisms. Uh, pathogenic means uh, which carry pathogens. Pathogenic microorganisms like the virus, we have the bacteria, we have the fungi, etc. We also have parasitoids. Now, let's see what are the merits and the demerits of such biological control. So, what are the merits and demerits? First of all, this is very cost effective. So, uh, the cost involved is very less. Secondly, it reduces the use of chemicals. So, chemicals, it causes uh, impacts like uh, pollution. Then, there are also various associated health hazards or health impacts. Health impacts or health hazards as well. So, <coughs> these... Uh, bio uh, chemicals or what we call as biological uh, methods they reduces the use of chemicals and other pesticides and they are also environment friendly and with no side effects they are very environmental friendly which means they are ecologically sustainable so they are ecologically sustainable and they also doesn't have any side effects and they are also effective in all the seasons. So, uh, sometimes, you know, some pesticides or some chemicals, they may not adapt to certain seasons. But whereas in case of uh, biohazards, they are fit to all seasons and they are very easy to use and also they are easily available. Now, the demerits is that it affects the product quality. So, it affects the product quality and uh, sometimes the pest is not completely removed and it's not very effective for short scale application. So, it's more effective for long scale application. That is, in case of large scale uh, application, it is more effective. So, for short scale application, it may not prove to be very effective. So, these are the uh, important points to be remembered regarding the merits and the demerits. So, merits we have seen and also the demerits. So, these are the important merits and demerits. Now, let's come to brand, uh, ban all. So, the biological name of uh, ban all is Taito Alba. So, Taito Alba, it belongs to the family of Titonidae and the distribution that is uh, the location or where it is found, the location mainly in the Indian subcontinent, Australia, Africa, 
യൂറോപ്പ് സൗത്ത് ഈസ്റ്റ് ഏഷ്യ മിഡിൽ ഈസ്റ്റ് യൂറോപ്പ് നോർത്ത് അമേരിക്ക സൗത്ത് അമേരിക്ക ആൻഡ് കരീബിയൻ ഐലൻഡ്സ് and uh, the iucn red list has listed it as of least concern that means no need of any concern about the population of uh, ban owl which means that they are enormously available so they are enormously available they are available in large quantities okay then the schedule 4 of the indian wildlife protection act uh, has included the ban owl we have already discussed about the schedules of uh, indian wildlife protection act so schedule 4 means that again they are available in abundance so there is no need to worry about it about the population of any species included in the schedule 4 so this is all about ban owl and uh, this is the current affair related to it i hope to see you again with another video another topic take care thank you so much for watching and please do share this video with your friends if you have liked it and do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't thank you so much